So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the only video you have to watch to achieve a good performance out of your light source. We are talking about doubling or even tripling your FPS since we will be covering 5 tips to make your game run faster in terms of handling lighting, especially point lights in Unreal Engine 5.5. In the end, I'll also try using the mega lights, which is a new feature in Unreal Engine 5.5. So yeah, let's dive in and get started guys. So here I'm in a scene. Uh, I'm using the City Environment Mega Pack Volume 2. So this includes this Yokohama City with a lot of lights. Very, very heavy performance. I'm getting around yeah 18 to 20 frames per second using my RTX 4080. Here I'm using the cinematic engine scalability settings, which is the highest possible uh, settings we can get inside the editor i will work on this like a uh, scene over here so let's say you are working with a, with a point light over here you can hold down l on the keyboard and click on the level to create a point light you'll see this radius this is the attenuation radius you can modify the radius of this maybe make it smaller a note that this will improve the performance since this measure how far the light can shine through the levels. It is important to set this correctly. Let's say if you, if the light is in a small house, which doesn't require a high radius, better set it into a small value. Here, as shown in the description here, uh, it's very important for performance. Larger lights cost more, so do keep this in mind, guys. Okay, so the next thing that you can do is you have to pick the right light mobility types here on the transform tab you will see these three options over here static stationary and movable i will highly suggest you to just use either the static or the stationary since this um both of these options are rendered in the editor before runtime but the movable it is dynamic uh, which means that it is uh, rendered in runtime when the game is running just use this option if you are working with a flashlight or let's say if you uh, attach the light into a character or maybe like a car or something like that you should use the movable light type for that particular use okay so i will set this to static and i will set the radius to maybe 500 so make it smaller maybe i'll increase the intensity to 25,000, so it will be appear much brighter so the next settings is we can disable the cast shadow. So cast shadow refers to shadow that light projects onto another surface. Uh, this is quite important for your game since it will block the lighting to be blown away. So let's say if we put a wall over here, cube wall over here, let's say, make it brighter and make it larger. Here, you will see that the light doesn't shine through the walls since we have the cast shadow enabled. Let's say if we disable it, as you can see, the light will shine through the walls and it could cause like a, a weird artifact or it doesn't look very realistic to you guys. But um, for my games, for most of my games, I, I turn this off just to show you like the difference of it. Okay, so the next option is to use the cooling. Under the performance tab, you'll see two options, max draw distance and the max distance fade range. So, max draw distance is the parameter that defines the maximum distance from the camera at which the light source remains active. So beyond this distance, the light is no longer rendered, which helps reduce computational load. So let's say if we put this to 1000, and then we're gonna move move the camera away it will like disappear i mean like the the light will not be rendered if we get 1000 units away from the light to make it smoother you can use the max distance of fade range determines the range over which the light intensity gradually decrease before reaching the max draw distance so let's say if we put this to 500 it will start to fade away the light intensity uh, 500 units away from the light so it will be like this so it could make the transition more smoother across all of the lights here okay so i would very very highly suggest you to use this feature 
as this will increase the performance by far, by a lot, I mean. I know it doesn't affect like a single light source over here, but if you have multiple light source, or maybe you have 100 or more coin lights in your scene, it will very gradually uh, increase the performance. That Okay, so the last feature that we're gonna use is uh, Mega Lights. This feature just announced in the Unreal Engine 5.5, which you can update the engine now. Basically, it uses the hardware ray tracing capabilities to efficiently calculate how lights from area sources interact with objects. So it like create like an array of uh, array of light that just bouncing around the scene. So basically, it, it is more efficient than the normal uh, light source point light. Here I have the scene which I'm running at around 19, 20 fps to enable mega lights. You just have to tap the post process volume here. You're gonna click on that. Make sure you have this selected. If you don't, just click on the place actor and search for post process volume. You just drag it, drag it onto the level and make it unbound here. Infinite extent. So in here, you're gonna search for rendering features, mega lights. Just check this to on and boom, we got triple the FPS. Now we got around 57 to 60 frames per second, which is very playable. Now you can move the camera freely, which you got a 60 FPS smooth playable frame rate from before. See, you got around 19, 20. When you enable this, you got 60. Damn, that's so cool. How about if you play the game? Now you got a very stable 60 FPS. Okay, so that's how you optimize the light source. So maybe that's it for this video. It's kind of short video. Uh, don't forget to give a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe also. I'm trying to hit 2K subscriber this year. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.